close your eyes, watch your breath, and watch your mind as it's trying to stay with the breath. You need to be alert to both, because sometimes the mind starts making little decisions that it's about to leave the breath whenever it gets the first chance. And you want to see those decisions before they happen, before they take some power. So try to make the breath comfortable and make sure the mind is comfortable with the breath. And keep a watch over both. Sometimes the problem is with the breath, sometimes the problem is with the mind. If the problem is with the breath, you can adjust it. Make it longer, shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. You can think about the breath in different ways. You can think about the breath permeating the whole body. As you breathe in, the breath spreads throughout all the blood vessels, all the nerves out to the pores of the skin, and any place where there's a sense of blockage or a sense of tightness in the body, allow it to relax. That makes the breath a much more pleasant place to stay. As for looking after the mind, you have to make adjustments there too sometimes. Just tell it, okay, this is a good place to be. This is an important place to be. Sometimes the mind thinks there are other things that are more important right now. But what could be more important than getting the mind trained? After all, it is what shapes your life. And getting the mind trained should be first priority, because of all these other things you can do in life. But if your mind is in bad shape, it's like trying to write a letter when you're drunk. Your, your capacities are not all there. And your powers of judgment are pretty pretty limited, too. It's when you're sober and you can both think of things properly and then judge things properly. That's when you should be writing letters and doing other kinds of work. And that's the same with the mind in general. If the mind is intoxicated with greed, aversion, and delusion, it won't be able to think of the right thing to do or the right thing to say. But its judgment will be impaired. It'll say everything is just fine. So try to make the mind really clear, alert, seeing clearly what it's doing, seeing clearly the results of its actions, and give it a good place to stay, a sense of pleasure that is not intoxicating, that actually helps clear the air. That way you become a better judge of your life and also a better shaper of your life. You can shape it in the right direction. Direction, a direction where you're not doing harm to anyone and you're not doing any harm to yourself. And it's an expression of goodwill all around. So keep watch over the breath, keep watch over the mind. And as they stay together, they provide you with a good foundation for everything else in life. <laughs>